Uh, hi, this is Mr. Tarek Salman, a math teacher at Zahik at Dura High School. In this video for grade 9, I will talk about Converse of Sales Theorem. Uh, first, uh, let me introduce my YouTube channel containing more than 120 videos about, uh, about all material from grade 9 to grade 12. Uh, this is the name of my YouTube channel. Now, Converse of Sales Theorem. Given ABC is an a triangle, M and N are two points on the line AB and AC respectively. If the line, if the segment are proportional, so if AM over AB equal AN, this point is here is N over uh, over AC equal to MN over BC. So the two lines, the conclusion is, is that M and and BC are parallel lines. Uh, let us go to uh, a GeoGebra activity to check that. Uh, in this video, I will talk about the uh, compass of sales theorem. Uh, I have another video on my YouTube channel to, take, uh, to talk about uh, sales theorem. First, uh, given ABC is any triangle, M and N are two points uh, on uh, M is on AB and N is on AC. Uh, you see here AM over AB the segment AM over AB is equal to 1.38 the segment AN over AC is the same ratio 1 of 1.38 and MN over BC is the same value let me change the position of M and N you see the value change but still equal ok if I put it here it's still equal. Let me put M and N here before the triangle. You see, it's also equal. So in all these cases, the sides are proportional. Uh, so conclusion. What you can conclude? Uh, we can conclude that the line M N and B C are parallel. So if we have a triangle and the ratio are proportional so automatically M and, and BC are parallel if, uh, if I change the position of M and N you, st you see that M and, and BC still parallel sides ok same ratio this is the converse of sales theorem ok uh, now let me continue my representation uh, okay uh, in this slide i will show you the difference between sales and converse of sales in sales the two tri the in the two cases we have an a triangle and we have m and n are two points on a b and a c the difference here in sales uh, given m n and b c are parallel and we deduce that the ratio of uh, the, the side are proportional in converse of sales we have the ratio are proportional and the conclusion is a geometric property mn and bc are parallel so sales is used to find a missing segment missing length and the converse of sales is using if we have all the sides and we need to prove geometric property two lines are parallel Okay, let me take an exercise from the book of uh, of uh, Mr. Saeed Hamadiyya B plus Smart. This is uh, an exercise of uh, using sales and converse of sales. Uh, I will go to, go to geometric uh, representation using GeoGebra. Uh, usually in class I use this book and another book, the other Smart uh, for Mr. Hassan Trad is also a good, good book. Okay, consider uh, in the adjacent figure uh, uh, we have AB and, and CD are parallel line. AB and CD are parallel line. Calculate OA and CD. Okay. Uh, I draw another figure here uh, for uh, to to represent this construction here on geom on dynamic geometry. Okay. So we need to calculate OA and CD. To do that we have AB and CD are parallel so 
uh, are, per are parallel, so we have to use uh, sales theorem in the two triangle OAB and OCD. By sales theorem, we can write OA over OC equal OB over OD equal AB over CD. You see that we use sales theorem to calculate missing sides OA and CD. Okay. Uh, OA is when we need to find OA. So keep OA. OC is equal to 6. OC is equal to 6 given here. Okay, equal OB. OB is 6 over OD. I use first these two terms, these two ratios. Okay, OD is equal to 7.5. Okay, continue the calculation here. We do cross, cross, cross product and we get OA equal 24 over 5 equal 4.8. Okay, 4.8. So now we have. Uh, OA equal 4.8 uh, okay, let me turn this one back ok OA is 4.8 uh, ok let me uh, write here the length 4.8 ok now uh, I continue to find CD. I want to find CD. I will use this ratio and this one OB over OD because we have OB and OD. So OB is 6 over OD is 7.5 equal AB is given 3.6 over CD. We need to find, we need to calculate uh, CD. So CD is equal 7.5 times 3.6 over 6. Okay, is equal to 9 over 2 equal 4.5. Okay, so CD is equal 3.5, uh, 4.5. CD is equal 4.5. Now, deduce the nature of triangle OAB and OCD. OAB and OCD. Okay. Uh, I use converse of uh, Pythagoras theorem in this case because uh, to determine the uh, nature of OAB, uh, we have all the sides. Okay, take OB squared equal uh, six squared equal thirty six. OA plus OA squared plus OB plus AB squared equal three point six squared plus four point eight squared is equal to thirty six. Also, we see that uh, they are equal. So by converse of Pythagoras theorem, that the triangle OAB is uh, is right at A. Right at A. Okay, right at A because this one is the hypotenuse. Okay, uh, same proving for uh, the other uh, for the other uh, uh, triangle OCD for the other triangle OCD. Uh, okay, let me show you a thing. I open my calculator. Uh, this is the calculator. Okay, and this is the GeoGebra activity. Okay, the calculator. Now, uh, let me take, uh, I want to prove OCD is a right triangle, OCD. 7.5 squared. The hypotenuse is 7.5. 7.5 squared equal uh, this value. Okay, let me calculate OC squared plus CD squared. OC squared is 6 squared plus 4.5 squared is also the same value, the same value, 22, uh, 225 over 4. So the triangle OCD is also right triangle at C. Okay, continue our work now. Uh, let M be a point on the segment BC. I relate the segment BC. M is a point on the segment uh, BC such that OB is uh, OM equal to OM equal to this one is two. Okay, OM is equal to two. Show that OM and AC are perpendicular. OM and AC are perpendicular. In this case, let me prove OM and CD are parallel. If we prove OM and CD are parallel and we have CD perpendicular to AC, we get OM is also perpendicular to AC. 
because if we have two parallel lines and one of them is perpendicular to a third line so the other line is also perpendicular to the line AC okay to do that I want to prove now in this case I want to prove a pro, uh, pro, uh, geometric property OM and CD are parallel so to prove that we use a converse of the sales theorem in the triangle BCD okay BO over BD BO is equal to 6 over BD is 6 plus 7.5 is equal to 3.5 the value the ratio is equal to 4 over 9 let me take OM over CD OM over CD is equal to 2 over 4.5 is also equal to 4 over 9 so we check that the two ratio are equal equal so by converse of sales theorem converse of sales theorem OM and CD are parallel OM and CD are parallel and CD is perpendicular to AC so we can deduce that OM is perpendicular to AC okay so it's proven okay uh, come back to our uh, representation okay uh, don't don't forget to check my website tarksalman.blogspot.com uh, you can see a lot of uh, more than for 40 example 40 uh, exam for grade uh, 9 for example and other uh, classes for for uh, for sure thank you to see this is